Okay, now World Tour Take Two. I had some uh, network issues. I had to get right away. So here's a brief tour of the game in my base. I guess we'll start out with my inventory character. That's the inventory. Nice and simple. We have up to four weapons or items equipped at a time, and you can use a scroll wheel to go between them. We've got an axe, crossbow that's a firebolt, pickaxe, and a bow. One slot for armor. Uh, various armors have various buffs for the different biomes. There's a hot biome, cold biome, so you adjust your armor based on where you're where you're living. We've got a shield. Absorb some damage uh, for a bit. And there's a glider. I'll show that off. You can jump off a cliff and glide down. And that's just a hat. Helps prevent uh, lethal head injuries. And I've got some food. This is my current party. You can have, uh, that's five cows, uh, cow balls, Pokemon with you at a time. You can have one out at a time. It's real easy to change from them. I'll show you that. This is kind of like the combat interface. If I right click, it brings up the bow into aim mode. The little right hand corner shows me how many arrows I have. There's different types of PAL spheres for capturing. The low end is for capturing lobby PALs. And I, you can cycle through them. There on the left, you can see the uh, like the Rolodex for the pals, so I'll go through that and show you. So E will deploy the pal. E will pull it back, and then I can cycle through through them and throw out a new pal. Some of the pals have special abilities. Uh, some of those special abilities require uh, an item to be crafted, like a uh, uh, flying harness. So with this uh, guy, I can mount up and fly around. It's got commands for raise and lower, so it's not as uh, it's not like wild flying, but it, it, it does the job. Uh, you can see the stamina bar there on the right side. Once that stamina bar reaches down, I believe he falls down to the ground. Uh, the, uh, the pals have attacks, the tornado attack. Get my stamina back up. Air cannon, so it shoots out a little power bolt. And then there's a uh, a, uh, a cutter. So there are like six or seven different elements, and if you look at a mob, like that's a water element, water pal. So he's vulnerable to uh, fire, I believe. Let me look at the list. So, water is vulnerable to electric. Electric is vulnerable to ground attacks. Ground attacks are vulnerable to grass attacks. Grass attacks are vulnerable to fire. Fire is vulnerable to water. So that's just like a loop. And then fire is also um, has an advantage on ice attacks. Uh, ice can attack dragon. Dragon can attack dark. And then dark can attack neutral. So it's a lot less complicated than Pokemon from what I've heard, but it's uh, kind of cool. You'll come across the mob, so there's advantage of, of switching up your pals. So I can go into party mode and click on Sparky. When you capture the uh, pal, they have a default name. I liked him, so I gave him a specific name so that made it easier to finding so when you get them at low level they normally come with one or two attacks 
and then as they level up, they'll, they'll gain additional abilities. So Sparky here actually has three different attacks, which is quite nice because it gives him uh, some good versatility. Let me dismount here. So basic part of the base is the pal box. This is kind of like the uh, dictionary of all the pals that I, I have captured. Down here are the pals that I have active in the base. When you first start the game out, your pal box, I think you can have one or two pals. And you level up the, pa the uh, your base by adding more items to the base. So, so uh, these are the ones I have active. You can hover over them and then you can see how they have different abilities. Like this dino has, uh, if you look there on the right, it's got a green flower with a two by it. That's his planting herbalism skill. And then he can also do lumber milling. So over here is a lumber mill station that I put down. So it's basically a never-ending tree. So he's over here attacking the trees and then they'll, they'll put the trees in the storage box. So I've got 2,900 wood. And they'll just keep doing that. Um, I don't think there's a way to, to, to disable it. The only way that I've found to, to really do that would be I could come over here and if I didn't want to dig any more trees or chop any more trees, i just take him out of the base and I could leave him out, you know, swap in some somebody different. I like having these guys out because they're, they're also pretty strong. So when I did get invaded uh, that second time where, I, where the invasion got wrecked, I had these two guys out. They do pretty good. Uh, so that's the pal box. Um, like right now, I'm base level 10. These are the things I need to do to get to the next level. I need a cooking pot and a mill. Something I've been working on. Uh, you got a crafting bench. You start out with a uh, low quality or common crafting bench. It's upgraded to high quality. This is where I uh, make my arrows and my weapons. This is a repair station where I can repair my items. Pretty easy to deal with. Storage boxes. These, this is where my house was located, but it got broken when I had that base invasion. Uh, over here are the nest or sleeping pads. So you have to have one of these for each one of your pals. I have, a, and this blue line is the is the circle radius of my base influence. As you level up the base, it'll get larger. I did have the base pads over here, but that's where the invasion came through, so I moved them to the other side. Uh, I've got two simple farm plots. This is just a berry patch, so I've got mobs that will that have the ability to plant the seeds, and then I have. When the seeds are planted, and the next pal will come over and water them, and then when they're uh, when the berries are ripe, they'll get harvested by uh, a pal that's got the harvest ability. And this is wheat. I just recently put this down, um, grow wheat, and I have to build a mill so that I can do uh, make bread. So let's check out the the wall here. And actually, I didn't know how, how the walls were going to behave. So it looks like if you have a wall out, it just prevents the uh, NPCs from invading you. So when I, I when I ended up with that triggering that invasion, they spawned over there. They couldn't get through here, so they came down here. And they basically stood down here and looked dumb, and I was able to shoot at them. And uh, all my pals from the base also dropped down and, and helped whip their ass. But a couple of them were, were standing right here, and I just shot arrows in their face until they were dead. Graphics are pretty cool. Um, it's 
a little dark. I uh, put some torches out. Apparently, the I've got a this fire guy. He'll actually run over and light the torches, which is I think it's pretty freaking cool. Uh, that's a waystone for fast travel. So this is the map that I've explored so far. So if I want to fast travel, I just pick that waystone and we zip down here. Uh, you can fast travel back to your base, but you have to go to the waystone to 